On the face of it, Cam Wan province in central Laos is idyllic, a place where geography and nature have combined beautifully. But you just have to scratch the surface to discover all isn't quite as it seems. For the pupils of Vang Con Village School, the day begins in the playground with a wash in a crater made by an American bomb during the Vietnam War. Then it's time for the first lesson of the day. It's part history and part survival. A British charity called the Mines Advisory Group, or MAG for short, has come to the school to tell the children why a war that ended 46 years ago is still a threat to them. When they're shown pictures of the various bombs they should be aware of, 10-year-old Vieng comes forward to identify the ones that he recognizes. Asked where he saw them, the boy walks just a few feet and points to a high-explosive fragmentation bomb lying in the playground. After all this time, it's hard to spot. It's called a BLU-26, and if it's moved or played with, it's potentially lethal. And there's more just beyond the school fence in the forest. The boy shows them a second bomb and then a third. Soon a MAG ordnance disposal team is called in. The children looked on from a safe distance. This was the practical part of today's lesson. Between 1964 and 1973, the CIA directed a secret war that saw American planes drop 270 million pieces of ordnance on Laos, which makes it the most bombed country on Earth. And this is what the American bombers were trying to put out of action. This is part of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. It's quiet today, but during the war, it was in constant use. This was the essential logistical corridor that allowed the North Vietnamese to keep their forces in South Vietnam fully supplied. The problem is that roughly a third of the ordnance dropped by the Americans failed to detonate. The Vietnam War's legacy in Laos was an estimated 80 million unexploded bombs. One of them killed two of their sons. The boys aged seven and nine found a cluster bomb in the forest. Their father said that recently, when they were working in the fields, he was horrified when he turned around to see three-year-old Nate playing with a cluster bomb he'd picked up thinking it was a stone. During the war, the villagers of Kham Wan endured terrible hardships as they retreated into caves to survive. This was the only sanctuary to be found as outside the bombs rained down. This woman told me that when the war ended and they left their cave, her husband retrieved aluminium remnants of the air raids, bits of downed planes and spent ordnance. According to an old sticker, her cladding was made by the US weapons manufacturer Northrop. The label on this bucket has instructions about the setting of fuses. This canoe was originally a drop tank on an American warplane. Walking through a landscape of craters, we were shown yet more unexploded bombs, and they weren't all cluster munitions. 
This is one of eight 500 pound bombs they've found so far this year. And the experts from MAG are about to make it safe, not least to save the locals from themselves. In the past, villagers have tried to defuse bombs like this using pickaxes and shovels. And all too often, it's ended in disaster. During our time with the bomb disposal team, we lost count of the number of controlled explosions they had to initiate. Since they came to Laos 25 years ago, MAG and other clearance experts saving lives here have dealt with about 1,400,000 bombs, which leaves roughly 78.5 million to go. <laughs> John Irvine, News at 10, Kamwan Province, in central Laos.